Hello guys and welcome to another Adventure Story Channel video. Today we will see very very important machinery which name is emergency fire pump. And there are some things which we will check together. First of all here we need to isolate our fire pump and we need to inform everybody on the ship, also the bridge, that fire pump is in maintenance condition so everybody will be warned about that okay we post the labels on the main switchboard on the inside engine control room outside locally and as you can see here i have removed the seal okay these emergency valves are sealed and this number it's uh, it's located in a, a paper which uh, must be inside engine control room and also in chief engineer offices which show what what valve it's sealed okay this valves is like fire pumps valves it's overboard valves it's oil water separator valves every valve which is sealed must be in this uh, paper okay and when i will remove this seal i will write the number which i still I removed and the new seal uh, which i placed okay the reason i don't know if you like to write the reason for maintenance okay it's like that and we close the suction valve okay and the maintenance which we will make here is to clean the shaft okay there was a leakage here in uh, the seal, but we didn't remove. Uh, the leakage was small. That was the main purpose to fix, to determine the leakage. And also there was a job to check this vacuum pump, which is driving, as you can see, from the main shaft of the pump and it's similar the video i have made for uh, the fire pump okay the main fire pump this one is the holders which must be clean from the rust and then this is a 13 number spanner you just release this and turn to that side so when you remove your a coupling here your hydraulic coupling because there is a hydraulic coupling which connects there are not nuts nuts are missing i believe that with nuts it's much much better okay because here in this system if there is rust you need first to remove the rust and it's more complicated so if you have this system it's better to fix immediately the problem of leakage because after with the rust you have more and more problem okay so this surface here which is connected as you can see in this surface it's very very bright okay do not hit at any any place this one it will broke okay be very careful how you will take out and also this here it's a tank which is filled with water when the pump it starts at the beginning okay to take out this vacuum pump here there is necessary to remove also this tank here and this hose here okay which also supplies uh, from the discharge from the suction to the discharge okay this hose uh, the main purpose is to fill the empty spaces of the pump casing okay this is the main purpose and as you can see here uh, and as you can see later also i replace these uh, holders here these metallic holders okay let's move on as you can see the tank is removed from the top here there is some nuts 17 if i remember correct and this is a seal a rubber okay 
then okay we tight here the seal and we clean inside any rust we don't like uh, all the dirty go inside between the seal and the shaft because we this will make more and more damage and then we have removed this vacuum pump and we proceed for cleaning to engine workshop okay this is a piston which i check by air here brush air as you can see it moving okay and it's moving really really strong i test it to hold with my hand i i cannot hold it also i clean the pin here check these connections insert new pin safety pin as you can see new rubber we apply and then also clean the filter which is very important for the suction of the pump as you can see we find some interesting artificial there and this is we paint okay the paint guys help to determine uh, the leakages okay you can see from where the liquid is coming if everything is dirty for sure you will not find anything okay all the parts all the filters clean and it's ready also the zincs we replace them do not over tight these covers if they have a rubber okay if you over tight your rubber your rubber one day will go out this is for sure will break because down below the rubber there is metal surfaces and also here the cup it's metal surface as you can see if there is over tight through the ears and the rubber flows to the metal okay and this is after cleaning everything and assemble back new holders to be more safe and this is how it look like after the checking new zincs and that is it guys okay thank you for watching stay tuned check my previous videos my old videos thank you for watching i like your comments your likes and your subscriptions Thank you very much guys, stay tuned to this beautiful channel, bye bye.